What is up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Happy freaking Friday. Um, shit, man, I'm fired up. I'm fired up. We're 10 years in to, or 10 years, shit. I, I can't even talk, man. We're 10, 10 days in, 10 days in to 2020. How many of you still got your New Year's resolutions going on? How many of you have quit your New, Year, New Year's resolutions? Statistically speaking, the majority of the country, and we're talking 90 plus percent, will be back to the same daily routines, the same daily habits. Statistically proven that 90 plus percent of our country will be back to their norm by mid-February to the end of February. So mid to end of February, most are back on their BS, right? Good habits, bad habits, whatever, you know, whatever, whatever, whatever. But where are you guys at, man? Where are you guys at with, with, with what you got going on, right? With what you got going on with the school, with business, with work, with your goals, with sales, with freaking whatever, being a good person, right? Being a, being a great husband, being a great parent being a great wife like what the hell was your resolution right i'm here to tell you man my resolution is to build this youtube channel that was one huge thing that i had on my goal list and all it was going to take and all it's going to take is consistency consistency being a product of the product and just continually putting out stuff that i feel will resonate with a core audience will all of you guys like me no do i need all of you to like me no. So the small piece of the market that you guys can go out there and capture with whatever you're fired up about, man, whatever you're excited about, whatever you're passionate about, you guys can go capture your little piece of the market. And I'm telling you, the little piece is all you need. And so the whole title, title, uh, title of this video, is it worth it? Is it worth it to build a YouTube channel? I'm here to tell you, man, it wasn't until a few months ago when I started seeing deposits, when I, start, when I got my first deposit from YouTube, cash deposit, when I first got that deposit, and then I got another deposit, and then I got another deposit, and the checks keep increasing, that's when I started getting fired up. When I, when I, when I realized, I'm like, dang, 300 bucks. That's a lot of money to most people. Like if, if, if anyone, if the average American, I knew this and I know this, if the average American had an extra few hundred a month coming in passively on top of their daytime job, what can that do, what can that do to a family? Like that's private school for their kid. That's a new car. In some places that's rent. Like, dude, I'm telling you, when I started seeing that YouTube money, I'm like, dude, it's not the most but at the same time, it's not the least. Like, this is like almost a full time check. You know what I mean? Like, where it can be, where it's about to be. Like, I started thinking of things like that. I'm like, dang, dude, what if I just had this a little higher? And if it was covering my monthly expenses, like, what would that be like? You know, not where it's like a full time job for me, but at the same time, looking at the numbers and started, started, you know, starting to see my my deposits. I'm like, dude, it's not going to take me that much longer. And it wouldn't take anyone that much longer to build a solid income and, and, and a strong, you know, monthly income that can pay for a lot of good stuff, right? And so my whole thing is here, man, is that I am on a mission. Like I'm on a mission this year. I'm telling all of my clients to start a YouTube channel. In fact, I'm even packaging that up into my services that I'm offering my social media clients where I'm going to also build you a YouTube channel, right? Because here's the deal, man. At the end of, the, at the end of it all, it's still all about paid traffic. It's all about paid traffic. You got to be running paid ads no matter what. But I'm telling you, that video, if you're doing video, which you should be doing video paid ads, that same video that you made for Facebook, you could be parking it over here on YouTube as well. That's all I'm saying. So these videos that my clients are already doing, videos that we're going to be running on, on Facebook as advertisements, I'm going to take that same video. It's going to take me five minutes to upload that thing to YouTube and start to build them a YouTube channel. And, and how crazy would that be is if, if I build my clients a YouTube channel and in 12 months, they're seeing an extra 600 a month from the ad money. 
like, dude, are you telling me an extra 600 a month wouldn't change your life? And if it took you a year to do that, so be it. So the, the answer is, man, should everyone start or, 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 or sh is it worth it to even start a YouTube channel? Hell yeah, it's worth it. Hell yeah, it's worth it. Because again, if you're a content creator and you're out there building a business, AKA a content creator, everyone's a content creator. We're all content creators. Even if you're not building a business, you're still a content creator. If you're putting out content on social media, you are creating content. That is your original content. You are a content creator. But for most of us that are actually really trying to do it as a, as a, as a, as a full-time thing, whether you're trying to build a personal brand or you're trying to build a business, you're putting out that content anyways. You might as well put all that in video form and also park it on YouTube because in 12 months, in 12 months, you can have a, a, a decent channel that is paying you a good amount of money every single month. And so I'll show you being at, at such small numbers that I'm at. That's what I'm saying, man. Most of you guys can blow me away. What you're interested in, some of you guys, you know, you have a passion in cooking and you guys are the best cooks in the kitchen and you guys can get down and now you got some ideas of putting some videos together and starting a YouTube channel and just talking about it. That's what I'm telling you to do, man, because again, you're going to take all that. You're taking all this content because you are creating content and you're putting it out on social media. What I'm saying, man, in 2020, you want to put it on YouTube. Bottom line, put it on YouTube no matter what. Take that same video that you put out on Facebook, put it on YouTube. Now with YouTube, always make sure you hold the phone horizontal. Always make sure you hold the phone you know, left to right. Widescreen view is how you want to hold the phone for a YouTube video, right? Okay, so none of, none of the portrait, none of the vertical, none of the Instagram shooting, none of that video or, or anything like that for YouTube. YouTube is widescreen horizontal shot. Um, right? So, so hell yeah, it's worth it, man. Hell yeah, it's worth it. Because again, man, in 12 months, when they start sending you a check, you're going to be glad you started it. And even if it took you two years, it literally took me, and this was because I was inconsistent. It took me, it took me since, since 20, it was, it was mid. In fact, let's look, dude, let's look. I ain't playing. I am not playing with you guys. Let's look. I think the, the first video I put out was in 2016, but it was only a few. There were only a few videos in 2016, and then into 2017 was kind of just a few, but I was starting to be a little bit more consistent. And then, and then 2018, a little bit more consistent, and I really didn't, didn't really catch on until like 2019. But even by 2019, I've, I had already put up a couple hundred videos. By by twenty by twenty nineteen, I already had up a couple hundred videos, and I ended up finishing twenty nineteen with over three hundred videos. And it wasn't until like mid twenty nineteen. It actually it wasn't until the end of twenty nineteen. Look, let's look. My very first video. And so in twenty, this is all twenty nineteen material. Twenty eighteen. 2018 material not a lot at all man not a lot I, I wasn't the most consistent at all at all I was doing videos on myself and I have other videos about this on YouTube man um, but I was doing videos on my Android old expired old ass freaking Android right shout out to that Android because I literally started my channel on that phone um, and, 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 and I made all these videos, man, all these videos inside of my office, you know, or outside of my office, all these videos in 2018 on my cell phone, man, on my cell phone, not a lot of viewers at all. I didn't, I still didn't know what the heck I was doing. This is 2017 cell phone video, cell phone video, cell phone video. And then, and then, and then this right here, June. Okay. So it was 2017, June, 2017 is when my first video went up all of 2017. I didn't know what the heck I was doing. It was all videos on my cell phone, um, into 2018 videos on my cell phone. Um, and then, and then, and then into 2019 is when I started doing more tutorials like this screen share and focusing on the niche landing pages, sales funnels, email automation, making money online, Kartra. Um, 2019 is when I started doing more tutorials, more screen shares like this. 
and and then and then that's that's kind of when my channel hit the thousand subscriber mark because you have to have a thousand subscribers and four thousand watch hours in order to be monetized is what they call it in order to, for 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 you to start sending you a monthly check on all these ads that are going to be running on your videos okay um also you need um you need you need you need you need what, what was it that i was going to going to tell you you need um yeah, the 1,000 subscribers and the 4,000 watch hours. I was going to say something else. Um, oh, it'll come to me. It'll come to me. But it wasn't until 2019, man, when I started getting fired up and started and, and started really finding my rhythm. So even if you don't know what the hell you want to talk about, even though, even though you don't have that, that niche narrowed down, talk about it, man get on camera and start talking about something and, 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 and start to narrow in your interests, start to narrow in your passion, start to narrow in, you know, that, that channel. So, so, so YouTube can know who the heck your audience is and they can start recommending and suggesting your video and you can start getting a ton of more views. But, um, all of these, man, low views, low views for a couple years. That's why, man, it, it, it took me a couple years. It took me a little over two years. And now you see me over here fired up about a few hundred. Why? Like, that doesn't even make sense. Like, if you do the math on that, that doesn't even make sense. Like, but I just know the potential. Like, I know the potential. I know that that income continue, can continue to grow. And, and that's a form of passive income, man. And I'm all about that residual income. And I told myself, I said, dude, if I can get that income, if I can get that income to cover my monthly expenses, like that would be freaking everything to me. Like that would be everything. Imagine your full-time job or your full-time business. You guys spend full-time at whatever the hell you do to cover your monthly expenses. If you already had your monthly expenses expensive expenses covered by your YouTube channel income, would you stress as much as you do at your current job or would you even be at your current job? Would you stress as much on your current business or would you even be trying to build that kind of business? I know some people that are in, that are in automotive and they hate it. They, they have a business, they have a shop, they do body work, but they hate it. They work 15 hour days, they hate it, right? If you had an income that was paying your total monthly expenses, would you still be doing what you're doing full time? Probably not, man. And that's what I'm saying. This, even if it turned into just a few hundred a month, with the potential of turning into a few thousand a month. I told my son about this yesterday. It's about investing your time. It's about an investment of time. I was telling my 12 year old, I'm like, dude, you got friends that are playing Xbox right now. They're putting three hours into playing Fortnite. And then you got another person on the other hand, that's doing the same thing, but they're taking that three hour video and they're parking it on YouTube. And I told my son, I said, those are the, those are the YouTubers today that have a hundred million subscribers. Those are the people you follow today. Because one in the last five years invested his time by taking that video and uploading it to YouTube versus all your other Tom, Dick, and Harry friends, all these other bozos that are just wasting their time playing the same exact game, but not seeing the long-term play, not seeing the long-term payoff by simply taking that video and uploading it to YouTube and having the chance to monetize it right? That's a big, big deal, man. That's a big deal. And none of these other platforms can pay you for your content like that. Unless, unless you're, unless you have hundreds of thousands of, of followers on Instagram and now you're, you're being paid sponsor sponsorships, right? Unless you're doing that, man, you ain't doing it. Okay. Or you're on TikTok and you have 15 million followers on TikTok and now you're getting paid by, by sponsorships. If you ain't doing that, you ain't doing it. You're going to either have to run paid ads to your offer or, or I'm telling you right here, man, whatever the heck you're offering anyways, park it on YouTube because this can build a, this can turn into a, a, a big income, man. And it, even if it took you two years like me, if it took you two years like me to get up to a few hundred a month, I know for a fact it would still be worth it for you. So yes, man, if I were you guys, I would go out there and whatever the heck you're fired up about, whatever business you're building, whatever passion you got start a youtube channel start a youtube channel um 
here are my basic, basic numbers. Nothing huge at all, but I'm telling you, man, this shit fires me up like it does because I just know, I just know that, that, that an extra number, an extra zero will be at the end of this 300 in no time. An extra zero will be at the end of that in no time. And if I look at that on my, as, as small as a channel as, my, as mine is, and I look at an extra zero, 3,000 a month, 3,000 a month, all from putting up a few videos a week on shit that I was already talking about. And it took me two years to build it, but now two years later, I got this extra 3,000 a month that hits my bank account every single month. Like, are you kidding me? Like, are you kidding me? That's more than what most of you guys make at your daytime job. Like, I'm not even kidding. That's why I'm telling you, I'm fired up about 300 bucks a month because I know 300 bucks a month will change most people's lives. And that's 300 bucks a month. So I'm telling you, those, that are, those of you that are already talking your shit on all these platforms, I'm telling you, let's narrow it in in 2020. Let's narrow it in and let's park it on YouTube. Let's park it on YouTube and let, let's get this thing monetized, okay? 1,000 subscribers you're going to need. The watch hours, you're going to need 400 watch hours or 4,000 watch hours in the life of your channel, right? Four, actually, I think it's in a year. I think it's in a year. I think it's in a year. 4,000 watch hours. But look, man, at, at, at such a small channel at, 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 as I am right now, 1514, those are my subscribers. Shout out to every single one of you, man. And if you're watching this video and you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Just please subscribe. You don't even have to watch my videos, man. Just subscribe. Smash the bell for notifications so you're at least notified or, or, or share this. If you're not going to subscribe, man, share this. Share this freaking video with people you know that can use an extra income. Okay, anyone out there, I'm telling you, man, share this video. Share this video. Please share this video. Share this video because I know there's people out there that will take advantage of what the hell I'm saying, and in 12 months, they'll be making more money than you and your mom. I'm telling you, man. I'm telling you. Okay, this is real stuff. So looking at my basic numbers, I'm telling you, it just took a few hundred to get me over here talking smack and fired up. Imagine what it, what it can do for you guys. So look, we, cl we come over here to the analytics. We click on revenue. and I can come down here and look at my last deposits. So let's, um, let's talk about this really, really quick. In September is when I finally became monetized. But in September, I didn't have, I didn't have the, um, the, um, the, I didn't hit, the, I didn't hit the, the threshold. The threshold is $100. So in a given month, you have to hit 100 bucks in order for that money to be paid out. YouTube, they'll send you a check or they'll deposit it into your bank account, okay? In September, I didn't hit that 100, but in October, I did, okay? So whatever you do in that month, it's paid out the following month, okay? So the, the 42 would have been paid out in October if, if it hit 100. This, 100. this 42, it had to have been 100. If it was 100, it would have been paid out in October. What happened in October, 248 was paid out in November, so in November, here's what happened with my check. This was my first check. My first check was the 42 and the 248. That was 291, okay? That was my first check in November. That was my first check in November. I did a video on that. I was fired up about that. It was $291 that hit my bank account, and it was a residual income. It came in from videos that I did in the past, and people keep watching them. Very basic and freaking powerful, right? So what happened in September and October was paid out in November. November 21st is when I got that check for the 248 and the 42. And then what I did in November, this 312, this 312 in November was paid out in December. And I did a YouTube video on that as well. So in December, right before Christmas, I get a check for 312. I get a check for 312. And I was fired up. I did a video on what I did with that money. That was a huge blessing that month, um, December of 2019. So what I did in November, 312, that was paid out to me in December. And then what I did in December, which was a little higher, 335. This 335 is now paid out in January. So January of 2020, this right here, the filming of this video right now, it is the 10th. So 
on the 21st, it's roughly the 20th, 20th, 21st, when that money's paid out, 335 is coming to me in January of 2020. And then so far in January, this money will be paid out in February, but I still got the entire month, right? It's only the 10th. So in the first 10 days, I've already accumulated commissions of $108. So that money, this 108 will continue to grow for the entire month. And then it stops at the end of the month. And then whatever happens in January, that is paid out in February. So you guys, I'm telling you, whatever you're fired up about, man, or whatever business you're in, start parking the content on YouTube, okay? And and the ultimate strategy is to is to is to is to if you really really want to go hard, if you really really want to go hard and you want to see your subscriber base grow and you want to see this income start to grow and you want to be commoditized and you want to act monetized and you want to actually create something here. Start posting three videos a day. Three videos a day. I mean, excuse me, a week, a week, a week, my bad, a week. Three videos per week. And that's what you're going you're gonna to see on my channel in 2020. You're going to see on average about three videos per week. Monday, Wednesday, Friday is when I'm dropping them. Sometimes you'll get a Saturday. Sometimes you'll get a Saturday. But normally it's Monday, Wednesday, Friday is when I'm dropping my videos. So 2020, three videos per week. Right now we're at January. Right now we're at 15 what was it? Let's go back. We're at um, 1514 on the subscribers. Let's see, man. At the end of the year, at the end of 2020, when, when, when I'm doing videos in December of 2020, we'll see where that subscriber base is at. Hopefully, it's at 15,000. Hopefully, it's at 50,000. Who knows? But three videos per week is what it's going to take, man, is what it's going to take. And, and, and when you upload those videos, you want to make sure that you're writing content in the description. You want to make sure that you're putting your tags in, 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 the, actual, in the actual tag field um, and any links, obviously, to wherever you want you know, people to go. But it's mainly that description for SEO purposes. You want to make sure that there's keywords in that description. You want to make sure that there's keywords in the title. And then for the actual thumbnails, I use Canva. I use Canva for all the actual thumbnail design. So you can come in here. Click on YouTube or just type in YouTube and you can go to YouTube thumbnail and it'll be right here. So I use this right here. I'll click on blank and then I can come in here and I can, I can upload my own picture. I can upload um, default pictures and templates that they have. A lot of them are free. All these ones are free, 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 free. So I can take this and I can drag this over. And that could be my, my thumbnail. It's already, the dimensions are already fit. I can, I can edit this. I can put a new picture. Like I can come over here to my uploads. And if I want to drag my picture, I could put my picture right there, right? So really, really cool, man, on what you can do with Canva as far as the thumbnail. But you want to make sure you upload three per week, right? You want to make sure you put keywords in the description, keywords in the title. And even when you go and save your image, put keywords in the title of the image, okay? That is a good one as well. And then make sure you're putting in the tags. So for example, if I come to a video, it's the tags. Let's look at the tag. Let's click on edit details. And these tags, you want them to be keyword rich as well. So there goes the description. There goes the title. Um, and then what you want to do also is down here, this is where you can upload a new thumbnail or you can choose one from the video. I would make your own custom for sure. Do it on Canva, upload it right there and then make sure you comply to this. No, it's not made for kids or yes, my channel is for kids. And then these tags, you want these tags to somewhat be related to the content and the video. You want keywords to be in these tags as well. This is a, a video I did with my church. So I'm putting in all kinds of keywords like that, right? And so that's, that's super important. Um, installing these two plugins up here, you wanna install keywords everywhere and install TubeBuddy. Those are free plugins, give you a lot of you know, um, insight on keywords and, and YouTube channels. Those are two, platform, or two uh, plugins that are free. Make sure you download those. And, and at the end of it all, man, stay consistent. Stay consistent. Take what you're already talking about, um, park it on YouTube, and try to upload at least three per week. If you do one a week, 
you'll still be able to build a, a good channel in a 12 month period. Um, but if you can do three a week, if you can do three per week, talking about the same topic and, and just putting different variations and different spins to it and, and educating your people, bringing value to an audience, people will start subscribing. People will start, start subscribing. You'll hit 1000 subscribers within that first year for sure, for sure, for sure. You'll hit the watch hours, you'll become monetized, and you'll have this extra following and this extra income over here that can really pay for a lot of the day-to-day -day expenses we have as parents, we have as normal consumers, as, renter, as renters, as homeowners, these expenses that continue to come every single freaking month, whether we like it or not at least you'll have an extra income to help offset it. All right, you guys, so that's my take on YouTube. I'm fired up. I'm building a YouTube channel in 2020. I will take full advantage of this monetization and really bring value to my audience um, because, because at the end of the day, it's all about the audience, man. It's all about every single subscriber. Shout out to every single one of you, man. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. I'm talking about social media marketing, affiliate marketing, and making money online. Subscribe, smash the bell for notifications, and I will see you guys on the next video. Over and out, start your channel. Peace.